Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This video is very special. This is my next graphics pack. It's called the Essential Graphics Pack because it has all the essentials that you would need to get started. It has outro screens, it has face cam overlays, it has a ton of stuff that you guys can use for your thumbnails or whatever, your designs. Um, this pack will get you started. It's not like an insane pack, but a lot of the stuff is pretty helpful and i made all this myself it's all 100 percent original so you will not find this anywhere else at the moment at least and then you know who knows what's going to happen to it later on but this is going to come in a few forms it's going to come as a psd if you like that it's going to come in a folder and in the folders it has little readme text files that you can read if you need help on like how to remove the black background or how to change the color i recommend reading all of those because it shows you or it tells you how to do all that stuff so if you have any questions go to the readme files and um i will also be posting a google drive link as well as a mediafire link if you prefer google drive so this will be mobile friendly so you can use this on mobile or pc it has all those features so uh whatever they do i'm going to show you some of the pack so here is the psd of this pack some of the stuff that's in the psd isn't in the folders and some of the stuff that's in the folders isn't in the psd such as color corrections, so these are only in the PSD. Um, you can see all the things that are in this. And if you don't use the folders, I recommend still looking in the folders for the readmes because say, let's go to color tints, say you might not know what to do, like if it turns it completely solid, um, which it will be if you drag the folder in, you'll just need to change the blend mode to multiply. That's how a lot of stuff is in this one. Um, so you want to start just by hiding the cover, hiding the made by cam bit. Also shout out to my stuff and um, unlock this by clicking that little lock down here and you can remove all those and start designing. You can also go up to image canvas size and you can change the size of the canvas. Say you want to do like a thumbnail, then you just change it to 1280 by 720 before you start working. Now this is the folder version. You can see it looks similar, but it's in folder fashion. So you can just drag your stuff onto your Photoshop or your photo P and it will apply it on there. So let's see. Some of these have readme's in it like this one. So double click that you can change all the colors by adding hue and saturation adjustment layer and adjusting the hue. So that's how you change the background colors of these backgrounds. And I will do a preview at the end of all these. I got a bunch of arrows. I'll have a video down in the description how to use a graphics pack and how to download one so check that out if you don't know. There are some fonts in this pack that are really good so if you want to download those I have a video on that as well. So let's get on to the preview.